Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I am going to show you how to install Ubuntu using the new installer. So we're going to start off, we're going to do the whole thing. We're going to, we're going to download the ISO image, we're going to um, create a USB drive, and we're going to install Ubuntu to a new machine. So to download the latest version of Ubuntu, go to ubuntu.com forward slash desktop and click on this download Ubuntu link. And you can see you've got this uh, LTS version. We need to ignore that. Uh, that still uses the old installer. If any version from Ubuntu 23.10 onwards will be using the new installer. Uh, you can see there's a download legacy installer if you prefer the old one, but the whole point of this tutorial is to show you how to install Ubuntu 23.10 and onwards using the new installer. So click on the download 23.10 option. You will also need to go to etcher.io and click on download etcher and then click on etcher for windows click on download there and wait for that to download uh, when the files are finished downloading you can close the browser window and then you can click on the explorer icon and you want to go to the downloads folder and you should now see a uh, Bellino Etcher and uh, Ubuntu 23.10. So what you want to do is double click on this Bellino Etcher. You want to insert a USB drive at this point. Uh, make sure there's nothing on the USB drive that you actually want to keep because it will be wiped as part of this process. So you can close Explorer now and click I agree on the license agreement. For Linux users, I'm going to show you how to do it using Linux shortly. Bellina Etcher should start automatically, but if it doesn't, double click on this icon here. And this is the screen you should see. So uh, what you want to do is click Flash from File. And you're looking for the Ubuntu 23.10. So it's, uh, any version from Ubuntu 23.10 upwards, this will work for. So if you're watching this in the future, 2404 uh, should use the same installer. Click on Select Target and choose the USB drive that appears. It, um, make sure that the size is correct and the names um, what you're expecting it to be. Click select and then click on flash. A pop up will appear asking whether you're sure you want to do this. Click yes and then you'll um, see it start to flash. Uh, this ETA um, fluctuates um, but you're, you're talking about 15-20 minutes for the process to complete. Uh, when it's completed, it should say the words flash completed. If you're a Windows user, you can now skip forward to the time uh, shown um, under here. And uh, if you're a Linux user, you can um, now follow on because I'm going to show you how to do the same thing using Linux. So if you are a Linux user, uh, the method for installing Ubuntu to a USB drive is the same. Um, open a web browser. I'm using Chrome, but you can use Firefox or any other browser of your choice. You want to go to ubuntu.com forward slash desktop. Click on the download Ubuntu icon. And then scroll down to Ubuntu 23.10 or any version above 23.10. Click download. And that should start downloading. Uh, meanwhile, um, open a new tab. Go to etcher.io. Click on Download Etcher, and this time you want the Etcher for Linux x64, uh, so you click this button here, and that will download in the top right corner as well. Once that's finished downloading, you can close the browser and open up a file explorer, go to your Downloads folder, and on the Belina Etcher you want to right click and click Properties, and go to the Permissions tab, and allow this file to run as a program. If you don't want to use the File Explorer, you can open up a terminal and you want to go into your Downloads folder using CD space Downloads LS and you want to type chmod plus x and then in quotes you want to type Berliner Etcher. The, the case has to be correct and the file name has to be correct as shown on the screen. So, and that's that done. And now you can double click on the app image 
Again, make sure you've got a USB drive installed and uh, that there's nothing on there that you want to keep. So now you can close the file explorer if you've got one and the terminal if you've got one. Uh, click on flash from file, choose Ubuntu 2310, select your target and then click flash. Type in your password. And the process should start and you can see it's going to take approximately the same amount of time on Linux as it would on Windows. So um, once that's finished it should say flash completed. When it's finished flashing it will do this validation step. You can skip it but I recommend just leaving it to finish. Now the uh, flash is completed uh, we're ready to start installing Ubuntu. So put the USB drive in the computer you want to install Ubuntu. If it is the machine that you just used uh, you should be warned that um, the installation will wipe everything else on the computer that you're installing it onto so make sure that you backed it up first and you really want to do it. But essentially uh, boot up the computer that you want to install Ubuntu onto. When the computer boots up press the relevant function key to bring up the boot menu. In my case it's F7 you'll see it's entering boot menu and then select the USB drive. So in my case UFE OS SanDisk Cruiser. This, this menu will now appear and you just choose try or install Ubuntu. So here we are, um, Ubuntu is now loaded up and this is the first screen you'll see. You can actually use uh, Ubuntu at this moment in time. It's a live image so it, nothing you install will be persistent after you reboot. Um, but if I press the Windows key you can see that there's all the things that you need installed already. So you've got Libre Office and the App Center, etc. But this is an install guide. Uh, so choose your installation language, in my case English, click Next. Uh, you can choose to try Ubuntu or install it. I'm going to choose Install. Choose your uh, keyboard layout, so in my case English, UK. So you can test your keyboard layout here. So for instance, if I want a pound symbol, I can press the Shift and 3 key. Click Next. And you can choose uh, your internet connection. Uh, if you don't want to install updates at this moment in time, you can choose I don't want to connect to the internet. I'm using a wired connection, uh, but you can use a Wi-Fi connection. So if I click that, it will show all my wi wireless networks near me but I'm going to choose wired connection. Uh, you can actually update the installer if you want to update the installer. Um, it's not necessary, I'm going to skip that step. Uh, now it asks you what you want to install so you can start with just the essentials which is uh, web browser and basic utilities or you can have all the other stuff uh, such as office tools, utilities, games etc. I'm going to go for the full install and it asks if you want to install third party software for graphics and Wi Fi hardware. I'm going to say yes. And do I want to download and install uh, additional media formats? I'm going to tick that box as well and then click next. And I was going to ask him how you want to install Ubuntu. Um, so I can erase the disk and install Ubuntu or I can do manual partitioning. Uh, now it hasn't picked up the fact that I've got another operating system on this machine so it's either Erase or Manual Partition. I'm going to choose Erase Disk and install Ubuntu as the only operating system. <coughs> Note this will wipe your PC and Ubuntu will be the only thing on it so if you want to keep anything you should cancel this, back up your stuff uh, or cancel installing Ubuntu altogether. Click Next. Uh, it tells you where it's going to write the changes. Uh, in my case it's this uh, device here and these are the partitions it's going to create. So I'm going to click install. Uh, then it's asking where I am in the world so this will set my clock. Uh, it's automatically picked up that I'm in the United Kingdom uh, therefore it's, it's picked up London as my nearest location. So I'm going to click next but you can obviously choose where you are on the map. And then it sets up a user. So. and enter a password uh, 
uh, require my password to log in? Yes, and then you can use Active Directory if you so wish. I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to click Next. And then you can go for Light Mode or Dark Mode. And I, I prefer Light Mode because um, I find Dark Mode is not good for my eyes at this stage of my life. So I'm going to click Next. And now it's installing Ubuntu. This can take some time, uh, so go away, come back, and by the time you've, uh, it's finished installing, um, you should then be able to reboot your computer. Um, but yeah, this could take a good 20 minutes, half an hour. So uh, it takes a while, and it's not a progress bar as you normally see when installing Ubuntu. But if you leave it long enough, um, it does come back, and you'll see this message here, Ubuntu 23.10 is installed and ready to use or whichever version after 2310, uh, depending on whether this is in the future. And now all we have to do is click Restart Now. And So Ubuntu should now be installed. Uh, when you boot it up, you had to remove the USB drive and you had to log in. Uh, but once you've done that, you'll come to this screen and it allows you to connect to online accounts if you so wish, but you can skip that. Uh, you can choose whether to send information to Canonical. I'm going to say no. Uh, then you can choose location services and then it says you're ready to go. And that's it, Ubuntu 23.10 or whichever version after that is now installed and that's how you use the new Ubuntu installer to install Ubuntu. That's the end of the video, if you liked it give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.